Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you in Wellington. Do I have a haul for you too, buddy? There might be something in here for you. And Alex. That's Alex. And my caramel macchiato flavored coffee out of my all the Advent. And if you saw my shorts on Sunday, my short video, you would have seen it. Hi, buddy. Okay, this haul is going to be all about the kids. <clears throat> Toys I've collected for donation. <clears throat> excuse me. Books and fun stuff. What are we doing back there, guys? Okay. I'm choking on chili. In case you need to know. Bubby, what are we doing? He's in front of the fireplace. Please, let's just have a cute cat. Oh, you can't see him. Dubby! Dubby! Hey, sir. Hey. He was ignoring me. Oh. <laughs> and Mr. Alex and Wellington. Oh, look, we both got a, an appearance today. Okay, so a lot of these toys will be gifted to other people. <coughs> that I know who have children or to my work drive for um, children. So let's get started. Although a couple of these things might be mine. I don't know. Yeah, these are a few things are mine. I rounded out my collection of the tippies and I realized something disturbing. There's no Schroeder as part of this set. So you have Charlie Brown, Lucy, Pigpen, Sally, <coughs> Peppermint Patty, Snoopy and Woodstock, and then three other Snoopy. Why couldn't they have a Schroeder? <coughs> I don't know. But, and I don't remember the ones I showed you and didn't show you, so I'll show you. The, I got them all, but I only did one Snoopy. <coughs> I just haven't opened them yet. One Woodstock. Peppermint Patty. Ooh. Peppermint Patty. Charlie Brown. I'm keeping these. I'm going to open them too. Pig Pen with his blanket, of course. And Sally. No Schroeder. And there is no Schroeder because they have it listed on the back. What is in them all? So. I grabbed those. Those are for me. Um, some of the things I picked up too. Well, here, this is a cat toy. <laughs> this is that pet zone again. Um, I realized I only got two of these. And I wanted to send two to my brother because they have babies. Like yet less than a year old kittens. But I did want one for Alex because he will enjoy playing with this. So I grabbed one more. They put them in stock, so I grabbed one for Alex for his Christmas. Wellington won't really bother with this, but Alex will if I play with him. So I grabbed one more. Um, Murray and Mabel are the babies, and they I got them a lot of stuff because they're cute. I grabbed one of these, and I know they had them last year. It's the bathtub with the bath bombs in it. I just thought it was super cute. Somebody, it'll go in a stocking or something. Um, or I'll use it. I take baths. So I'm like the only one in my family. But I thought that was cute. I got some. And I tried to focus on name brand stuff. Because I feel like Alex. Alex. Come here. Nobody wants to see that. Rude. He's rude. Um, I'm trying to focus on like name brand stuff. Only because I don't want kids to feel like they're being shortchanged. Just because I had to donate. And I had mentioned in my vlog. I will go out and buy other things but this is what I have so far so I got some Nickelodeon slime because everybody likes slime and this is in the green and I also tried really hard to get equal things for boys not equal but get things for boys and girls <clears throat> because I feel like you know I also was looking for like teenager stuff but I haven't found that so I grabbed a matchbox car and then I'm not sure how I'm going <clears> to <throat> put this together. But I grabbed, with the help of a lady at the store who actually has children, 
enough pieces to <clears throat> make this loop-de-loop. -loop. And this is Hot Wheel brand. And the track will loop. <coughs> All right, and maybe I have a, a fur ball. <coughs> I'm sorry, it's tickling my throat. It'll make the loop. I think I got enough to make a complete loop. <coughs> Let's have some coffee and see if that helps. Coffee helps everything else. And then the launcher. <coughs> and the car. So this is all one, one donation item. And it was, what, $5? Three, yeah, $5. And I think it'll be fun for like a little guy or girl to, you know, launch. If I find a Hot Wheels car, I'll get it. But they didn't have Hot Wheels. I mean, I can go somewhere else and get one. But that's for donation for sure. <clears throat> and then I got, oh, this is for me. <laughs> it's a cat adult coloring book. Um, during my part-time job, sometimes it's very boring to just sit there. And so I'll sneak out a, a piece of a page out of here and just color it just to give me something to do this is a kappacoloring.com but i mean they have them at the dollar tree all the time it's regularly three dollars and 95 cents in case you needed to know but i liked all the cats duh that's for me Ugh. i found this interesting and i think i'm giving it to the son of my work friend there are 20 doors it's not an advent calendar it's a countdown to a spider-man movie that came out at some point i don't even know when the movie came out but you get in here um 14 little miniature figures they're tiny four stickers and two cardboard building things but i thought she he's four and he likes Spider-Man, so I thought she could play with this with him, but then he can also use it as a countdown to Christmas if he wanted, or just open it all up. It doesn't matter. It doesn't make, it's it's fine either way. I'll put that over here. That's getting gifted to him. I also have a present over here behind me for him, but we're having our holiday get together. First of all, I would never have gifts for everybody in the room and not for a child, ever. Um, and he's coming, so he'll have a present. And then I, he likes puzzles. And so I got this 24-piece Paw Patrol puzzle for him that I think will be fun. And I was also looking for things he could do while at this party full of adults. And then also I got for him this 3D sticker story of Jurassic Park. And so it's like Color Forms. And it might even be Color Forms brand. I don't know. But you get like a, a storyboard and you get repositionable pictures or stickers and then you get 3d glasses so he can play with that so i figured these little things would be fantastic you know for a little guy that's gonna be around a bunch of grown-ups who are gonna be loud and talking and all opening gifts and stuff like that um i found this i love these little blind bags and i will tell you that minion one that i found the other day they had it at Target for $3.99 on sale for $2.94. The exact same bags that I just paid a dollar for. Uh, so this is a Nerf. It is a Nerf squishy shot. One mini slingshot and two squishy bands that you can have fun with. So I'll donate that because I think these are fun like little stocking things for, for kids. Okay. Then the rest is, well... I found these, I'm gonna donate them, but it's Monopoly in color forms. Like what? I don't even know if you get money, I don't know. It says one set, you get the game board, 32 cards, 10 paper tokens, 175 Monopoly money bills, three dice and instructions, so you do. And then they had Battleship. And I thought these were fun, fun little gifts to give, you know, again, with the name brand. And I love color forms when I was young. So I'm going to donate those. Um, I found this Moana um, 48 piece puzzle. 
Now, um, the one thing they did ask for were color inclusive things. So just, you know, because we want to represent the kids that are getting these gifts. I don't know who's getting these gifts. So I just went with a variety. But I love Moana and I thought she was super cute and I love that puzzle and yeah, and this is for ages six and up. And again, I'm trying to get different age groups and I have a bunch of other stuff that I'll be taking on Wednesday and then I can have a better idea after I talk with my work on what they're looking for. I, oh, one more thing I got is the... Disney Raya and the Last Dragon coloring book. So they specifically did ask for color pencils, coloring books. I need to get some crayons to go with these. And I was looking for, but I think I missed the boat at the Dollar Tree on the good coloring books because obviously it's Christmas time, but I'll know better. Usually we donate money for this, so I wasn't prepared. Um, oh, it's a flip book. So on this side, it's Raya and the Last Dragon. I don't know. I'm sure somebody will know what these are, but this is fun. So I grabbed that for the kids to have. And then, guys, I might have gone a little nuts though with the books, but they did ask for books. So this I believe is middle school age book series. And I need to go find book one. I may order it on Amazon because I got books two and three. Um, and I don't know if I need to read them in order, I should guess, look into that. But this is The Slither Sisters by Charles Gilman. Oh, it's Lovecraft Middle School. Okay, Lovecraft Middle School is the series, and then these are the books in this series. So this is Teacher's Pest and The Slither Sisters. And I love the covers that have the, um, you can turn it and the cover changes. And these are chapter books. I don't know the age group. Somebody who knows these things will know. But they're, you know, I don't know what age group this is. It doesn't say. I really feel like books should say, for those of us who don't know these things, it should be like age two, age 12. But I guess I also don't want a pinhole. Well, I, and this one does. This is a Step two, reading with help. Over 30 shiny stickers are in this book, but it is The Great Ice Race, and it's a level two reader. And this is a random house book. And it says, preschool to grade one, does your child recognize familiar words on sight and sound out new words with help? Step two is just right. And I thought, that's fun. So they did, you know, they wanted books. I got it. Now for the tween girls, I'm pretty sure this is like the tween age. I got the paperback and it is Ever After High Dragon Games, a junior, oh, the junior novel. So this is based on the movie. Now I will tell you at whatever store, this was regularly $5.99. I don't really know what I think it's just one standalone book, but it's about the movie and the Disney Ever After. And this is Ever After High Diary of an Evil Queen book. And this one was regularly $9.99 and it's a hardcover. So I thought that was pretty fantastic to give somebody will enjoy. And then this is also Ever After High Once Upon a Pet, a collection of little pet stories. And again, this is hardback and it was regularly $12.99. So I'm, I just love being able to find things that, and so I was, here's my thing. I love being able to find name brand and decent books and things at the Dollar Tree because when I want to donate stuff, I can get so much more for my money and I don't feel like, you know, these are not, I don't feel like these are bad gifts. If I had a kid, I would, you know, I would love this stuff. I would buy this stuff for my nieces and nephews. So I don't, you know. Because that's what I do not ever want is to have a child feel bad because, you know, I'm giving them something. Then these are little kid books, littles, like toddlers. And this is A Wolf's Tale. And these are all berry books. I feel like I, I bought this one maybe. I don't know. I know I sent to my little cousin a bunch of these books. He's three, I think, or four. So he's not reading yet. And then I know I bought this one, A Rumpus in the Night. 
a nice little story to read. And I love the illustrations and the colors. And this is also an Allberry book. I don't know what the price was on these. I've never even heard of this bookseller. Um, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter to me. Cute books. And then I know I got this one too, Cheeky Charlie. Uh, uh, uh. So fun. And this is also Allberry books. I just felt so lucky that I found these. Um, I'm trying to see if there's a price. This one is, this edition was published in 2014. So they're older, but who cares? I mean, it doesn't make a difference. Doesn't say. And then Cuddle, also an all very book. Who doesn't want to hold someone close in their arms and who doesn't want to be cuddled back to? Find out who you might want to cuddle in this gorgeously illustrated book by the same team that brought you the triumphant that's when I'm happy and again the illustrations are wonderful they're so nice and colorful and I love it so I grabbed those so I think I did pretty good guys for the books I mean I got five six seven eight nine ten ten actual reading books so I thought that was pretty good to give um, that they could share with some of the children. Some col I need to get some more coloring books. And I think that's it. That is it for the toys that I bought and I wanted to share with you. Obviously, there's a million things out there. These are just some of the stuff that I picked up that I thought was a good value. Um, that, or you're getting more bang for your buck. And if you have some littles in your life and you know, we're all struggling financially. So this was some fun stuff I wanted to share that I thought were um, some good deals. All right, guys, I am going to wrap this up here and I will talk to you later. And I hope you have a fantastic week.